remember the powerful November jobs report? Did you see this? Is Watch at this. stake in the next election and certainly our planet. Now, the balanced budget amendment in the middle of what basically is going to be we're going to maybe, I hope it's not true, but we're likely to inherit a recession, mm-hmm. or at least a significant economic right. slowdown. OK, Nancy Pelosi said, quote, civilization is at stake if President Trump wins the election. OK, jobs report, 266,000, the November jobs report, blew away the top end of expectations. Let's bring in my next guest, Heritage Foundation senior writer, Kelsey Bolar. Great to see you, Kelsey. Your reaction to all this? There are certain issues that shouldn't be partisan, and a strong economy is certainly one of them. But unfortunately, this has become a partisan issue because there's such a stark difference between the economic policies that you're that you're seeing from the Trump administration versus what liberal Democrats are calling for, which is really they want to uh, turn the flip over the entire economy. And it's really strange. You know, you have to wonder why they're asking to do that when we have such a strong economy that's working uh, so well, particularly for the working class. They're seeing, uh, they're seeing so many more job openings, and they're also seeing increased uh, wages, which is so important and, and part of the reason why heading into the holiday season, we're seeing such strong consumer spending. You know, here's Nancy Pelosi's office putting out this statement on the jobs report, quote, despite some encouraging numbers, the jobs report offers little solace to the farmers and hardworking families. I don't know. We're looking at the numbers, Kelsey, and we see working class and blue collar worker wages rising at much faster weight, uh, faster rates than every other category. Right. And that would completely go backwards if a Democrat came into office. Um, but again, this, you know, a strong economy, it shouldn't be a partisan issue. And, and certainly Democrats are um, preventing this economy from growing further by holding up the USMCA uh, trade agreement. Instead, they, they're choosing to focus on investigations and impeachment hearings. And so if they really want to contribute to the, the economic growth that we're seeing, they really should get back to work and start passing yeah. legislation. I want to move on because, by the way, more than 7 million jobs created under this president. That's nearly approaching the size of the population of Arizona. Bloomberg Economics now forecasting by 2020 Election Day. Jobless rate will be at 1952 lows. That's 67 year lows. I want to get on to what's going on with Joe Biden. A couple of interviews Joe Biden gave to uh, Axios and NPR. Uh, He said basically this. Joe Biden is blaming his own staff for not telling him about his own conflicts of interest with his son, Hunter, sitting on the board of the Ukraine energy company. Biden oversaw Ukraine under the Obama administration. Biden, Kelsey, Biden is now claiming has, he has not looked into these conflicts of inter- interest involving Hunter, doesn't know Hunter, what Hunter was doing, even though Hunter reportedly told his dad what he was doing. And uh, Joe Biden saying we should trust Hunter Biden and not investigate. What's your reaction to all of this? This is incredibly strange because Joe Biden has been saying that there's nothing to see there here with Hunter Biden. um, And and yet now he's turning around and blaming his staff for um, not telling him about his dealings with this Ukrainian energy company. Now, if he's blaming this on his staff, then you have to think that he sees that there was a conflict of interest here and it's problematic. Um, So I think we're getting really mixed messages from Joe Biden. um, But certainly, I think any average American looking at his son's business dealings, um, you know, in Ukraine sees that there certainly is some uh, something problematic, some conflict of interest there. You know, and uh, Joe Biden, his staff should advise him to be careful what he says to the press, because anything he says could be brought up in a Senate impeachment trial if it goes there. Uh, Hunter Biden admitting in an interview he was wrong. He made a mistake. Here's a question. Why didn't Republicans investigate Hunter Biden four years ago? That's a good question. And and that might be exactly why President Trump is turning around and trying to investigate it now. Um, I think if 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 this were a different situation where it were President Trump's uh, family members uh, getting these very lucrative deals to sit on boards of these foreign uh, businesses, Biden and the rest of Democrats would be encouraging investigations. But instead, uh, Democrats, because it's President Trump, they want to impeach him simply on on that desire. Kelsey Bowler, great to see you. Come back soon. Great to be here. Okay, 